Hi, I'm Carly Kramer. I'm the founder of Beekeepers Naturals. And today I am sitting down with Dr. Danny Clark. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Around seven years ago now, I want to say, we started formulating our brain health product. And I know you're very passionate about brain health from looking at increased rates of ADHD, ADD, to, to looking at how common neurodegenerative disorders have become. You're incredibly passionate about brain health. And so we started working on this years ago when we started to understand what royal jelly, which is another compound that comes from the beehive, does for the brain. So yeah. really quick for everyone, royal jelly, you know this, but for everybody who's new to this, royal jelly is a substance that the nurse bees make. It's You can think of it as like the breast milk or colostrum of the hive. It's fed to newborn baby bees for the first three to five days. And then it's the exclusive food of the queen bee. So in the hive, it's this breast milk. It's this incredibly nourishing, nutritive substance. But for humans, we're seeing all of these incredible studies on how royal jelly affects the brain. So can you tell us a little bit, what does royal jelly do for brain health? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I love brain health. It's something that's super important to me. Personally, I have a family history of Alzheimer's and dementia in my family. And I think that's what kind of started my passion into that. I know genetically, I am um, disadvantaged to developing some of these neurodegenerative diseases. And so for me, it's super important that I'm doing everything I can as early as possible to make these changes so that that doesn't happen. And Royal Jelly is part of that protocol to make sure that these things are prevented as much as possible. Um, Royal Jelly has a really cool compound in it called 10-HDA. It's one of the main fatty acids that's in Royal Jelly that gives it its neuroprotective uh, benefits. And so what 10 hda does is it actually stimulates or upregulates what we call neurogenesis, so the formation of new neurons in the brain, which is really fascinating because we don't have a lot of other even medications that can do this. Mm -hmm. And there's been study after study that have shown that when consuming royal jelly, we get this upregulation of new neuronal growth, which... And again, going back to the environmental side of things, the things that we're exposed to on a daily basis, the stress, lack of sleep, our nutrition, environmental toxins, make it very difficult for our brain to do this process on its own. Um, and so when you take royal jelly and you give this 10 HDA, it upregulates this neuronal growth specifically in the hippocampus, which some people may know is the basically main memory formation part of the brain. It's where when we make new memories, it uses the hippocampus to create those, those long-term memories. And then also it is responsible for recalling those memories as well. And so when we have neurodegenerative diseases, that's the one thing that goes is memory. And so if we can do everything we can to improve the health and continue that growth of new neurons in the hippocampus, that's a really exciting therapy and something that is really difficult and almost impossible to get in many other medications, supplements. I mean, we get it from exercise and good nutrition, good sleep. But like I said, it's really hard to be consistent enough in our daily stressful life. Mm -hmm. Life ebbs and flows. And so something as simple as taking royal jelly can help kind of combat that. There's a really interesting study that we were both talking about just before we started filming that I want to share with people. So it was looking at how 10-HDA, which is that fatty acid that is naturally occurring in royal jelly, can protect the brain. And it was specifically looking at the damage from microplastics. Yeah. Can you tell us a little more about that one? Yeah, absolutely. And so what they did is they gave these rats uh, royal jelly and they exposed them to microplastics. And what the 10-HDA seems to do is it helps to, one, grow new neurons, but also it helps keep the um, astrocytes and glial cells, which glial cells are kind of like the... Um, housekeeper in the brain. And so what, what it does is it makes sure that these are plentiful and they're working well. And so that when you get exposed to these microplastics, which are so prevalent in today's environment, everything's made out of plastic. Mm -hmm. We can't really avoid them anymore as we're realizing that even in tap water, even the teas that we're drinking, the bags have microplastic. And so you can be, try to be as healthy as you want, but you're going to get exposed to these at yeah. some point. And we're learning that more and more. And the 10-HDA in royal jelly helps the brain combat the negative effects of these microplastics, which is 
really fascinating because it's so hard otherwise to protect ourselves from these because we can't really avoid it at this point. Mm -hmm. So talk to me a little bit about focus memory concentration because yeah. I use Royal Jelly for a lot of things. Yep. But one of the big things for me, I am always using Royal Jelly when I'm working. Mm -hmm. I use it in place of coffee sometimes, but I really use it to help me focus, get in the zone. And I just notice such a massive difference in my output, my productivity. So how does that work with Royal Jelly in that, in that space? Or how does that work with Royal Jelly in the brain? Yeah, um, so Royal Jelly has also acetylcholine in it, which is one of the only known natural products that has naturally occurring acetylcholine in it, which is really fascinating. Again, just kind of a testament to how cool bees are. Mm -hmm. um, Acetylcholine is one of our main neurotransmitters in our brain and our body that help to communicate. I'll back a little bit. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter. A neurotransmitter is the signal that a nerve cell sends to another nerve cell to communicate, essentially. And we do produce our own acetylcholine, but with daily but with daily exposures to these environmental toxins, stress, lack of sleep, sometimes that process isn't as efficient or effective as it should be. And so if we can consume some acetylcholine externally to help bolster that process, give our body the, the chemicals and the information it needs to be able to send to these, these other nerve cells, that is primarily responsible for improving brain activity, which then translates to increased attention, focus, things like that. When we don't have that acetylcholine, we don't have that active brain, that's when we feel sluggish, brain fog, and we don't feel like we can focus as well as we should. Mm -hmm. Then going back to that 10-HDA compound, that's also contributes to that beneficial focus, attention, memory, because again, it's helping the brain produce new neurons. And so when you're working, you're not forgetful, you're not brain foggy and those two together seem to work really well for improving that that attention, focus, things like that. Amazing. So I'm very excited because we have just upgraded our Beekeepers Naturals brain health shot. So we created this seven years ago, this shot that has royal jelly, it has some it has ginkgo biloba, some different nootropics in it to help people with focus memory concentration, but also on a bigger scale, help people to protect their brain, support their brain, nourish that brain health. And we're coming out with a new formula. And this is why I love where I work so much because we are constantly upgrading as new science comes out, you know, you're always bringing new studies forward. And we're thinking about how can we move with the times and create a better product and take what we have and build upon it. So we make sure that we're helping as many people as possible and building the best products, which is our commitment to our customers. So we're about to come out with our liposomal brain health product, which contains royal jelly. And you know what, you helped me formulate this one. So why don't you talk a little bit about this? Yeah, absolutely. And so, so what we did was we took our existing brain fuel or we took our existing brain support supplement, which includes royal jelly, ginkgo biloba, and bacopa monnieri. So ginkgo biloba is an herb that's been used for hundreds of years. What it does is it helps to stimulate central blood flow to our brain. And so when we don't have enough blood flow to our brain, it's not going to function as well. And so if we can increase that blood flow, it's going to function better. And then we also have bacopa monnieri in there, which is another adaptogenic herb that helps to actually inhibit the enzyme that breaks down that acetylcholine. And so if we, if we can prevent that breakdown of acetylcholine, we will then result in more acetylcholine in the brain, which will help with that focus, attention, better communication and better activity of the brain so that focus and memory are you know firing on all cylinders essentially. The addition that we did to this, which is really exciting, is we added what's called citicoline. And so, um, and, and we use specifically the patented form of citicoline called Cognizant. The reason we chose Cognizant is it is a patented formula that has been proven and clinically studied to help improve brain health, focus, memory, attention over dozens of clinical trials, which is, you know, really difficult in some natural product world. Um, it's really difficult with some natural products because 
the the funding to do these clinical trials is, is immense. And mm -hmm. so when you're able to use these patented formulas, we know that they are backed by high quality research and science, and we know that it works well. So what citicoline does is it is a precursor to phosphatidylcholine. And so phosphatidylcholine, what it does is it actually integrates itself in the cell membranes, specifically in our brain in this case. And what that does is it helps keep that kind of cell membrane nice and fluid and allows for transport of information and molecules across that cell membrane so that it's getting the nutrition a little bit easier. It's getting the information from those other neurotransmitters a little bit easier. And so that ultimately overall supports both brain health and when you have that healthy communication between the different nerve cells, because it's got that good integration of the phosphatidylcholine in the cells, it will just communicate and function better. For all of our existing customers, just so everyone knows, we're taking our brain health shots, which have royal jelly, bacopa monnieri, ginkgo biloba, and we're upgrading. We found this new compound, Cognizin, which has been widely researched and is actually showing to support brain health, focus, memory concentration, and really nourish our brains across all these different parameters. And we're coming out with this new upgraded formula. And then to top it all off, we're doing it in a liposomal format. We're choosing to do it in a liposomal format because we really care about bioavailability. We really wanna make sure that what we're giving to you really works. So can you talk a little bit about, first of all, what is liposomal? And then second, the importance of bioavailability. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're starting to see liposomal come up more and more in new supplements over the last couple of years. And it's for a really good reason. It's a newer technology that essentially encapsulates the molecules of whatever you put inside of it in this phospholipid membrane, which is very similar to our own cells. And so there are two things that it does is one, it keeps it stable when it goes through our stomach. Our stomach acid is notorious for breaking anything down that tries to go through it, which limits the ultimate absorption in our small and large intestine. And so when you encapsulate this, it makes it past the stomach acid. And then when it gets to our intestines for absorption, the body recognizes this little fat bubble, more or less, as kind of one of its own cells. And it's able to transport that across our intestine into our bloodstream, increasing what we call the bioavailability, which is ultimately how much does the compound that we're consuming get into our bloodstream so that it can go do the beneficial effects that we want it to do. Because I see people all the time and they're like, I'm taking this supplement, this here, this here, but I'm not seeing the results. And a lot of that could be attributed to bioavailability. You might be taking things, but your body is not, they're not coming at your body in a format that it can actually absorb and retain. And yeah. so we're really at Beekeepers Naturals where, as you know, we're very focused, in fact, obsessed with bioavailability because we want our solutions to work. And liposomal is just another step on that journey to give people something that really works. And just to sort of say it in another way, liposomal, it's basically encapsulated in fat. And so it mimics the cell structure. So when you're taking it, your body's not going to kind of break it down in the same way. It's going to send that nutrient to the part of the body or the area of the body that needs the support and then integrate that support. Yeah. So it's like, it's like a Trojan horse where it can make it through your system, yeah. get to the problem and help to solve the problem. Absolutely. And I think the other, the other piece to this too is, you know, your comment about people taking supplements and they're not getting the results that they want. That's why I love what I get to do with beekeepers is the dosing as well. It matters so much. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you take 50 milligrams of Tylenol, you're probably not going to get rid of that headache. But if you take 500 milligrams, you will get rid of that headache. And so same applies with all of these natural products where we really want to include the dose that has been proven in the research to have that beneficial effect that we're looking for. And time and time again, you'll see supplements that have, you know, a fifth or a 10th of the dose that's necessary for that therapeutic action. And so that's another important piece here is when we added this Cognizant and we added the Royal Jelly and we selected doses that are efficacious and actually will provide the effects that the research shows will work.